of Cheers and Beers. Beers. <laughs> oh, is this thing on? <laughs> I love it. I love this shit. This is funny, man. We're fucking idiots, but we're having a good time. Oh, shit. That's all it's about, man. Oh, my God. Life itself. I like so, good weekend time. plans. You're heading out of town. Yup, man, going to going to San Francisco. Or I guess week plans, week plans. Excuse me. Yeah, San Francisco. <laughs> Gonna I gotta go there Sunday until Thursday, and then um, I'm headed straight to Colorado right after. So we're gonna have to. Are you flying or driving to Colorado? I'm flying. Yep, Damn, yep. dude, that's gonna one be way, one time. way, one way, and then one back back home. So I'll be home next Sunday. So I won't be here till Saturday, the next Sunday. So we got <laughs> one week. You guys get one week off. We're gonna go and just start fucking hammering it. Dude, I'm excited, boys. It takes yeah. a little time. The set looks great. I think we're having a great time. I love the design, by the way. I love this. I love yeah, the uh, like Super Nintendo. I love that nostalgic. shit. Nostalgic. I love it. Did you, so you said something about Super Mario Brothers. Did you Did you watch it yet? No, I want to watch that Did movie. you see it, Matt? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, my God. They touch on it every game. Oh, my God. Everything. Trailer. Dude, so, so beautiful. What was like, Dude, what that's was like a childhood. Yeah, everyone's everyone's, and yeah. I'll I'll smash anyone here in Mario Kart. That's I'm I'll smash anybody debatable. in Super Smash. Brothers. Josh knows he learned his dude, lesson. Dude, you've lost like maybe seventy five percent of the time when we live together downtown. Yeah, but it was yeah. because. Ooh. But my wins are so crazy. Everyone wins. He, see, everyone's gonna understand. Like what? That but wins my are so wins crazy. are crazy. Yeah. They're crazy. He my wins are crazy. Out, so <laughs> out of five, I'm going to last 75% like, of the time. But you, know, the wins, you know, I got beat down 9 I out of 10 did. times. But that one time was fucking crazy. Yeah, you know, you want to know you the know? one time? Yeah. I yeah. fell asleep. He put a controller in my hand. Let's. He's like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it, was like, it was crazy. You wouldn't believe it. No, but you know, I didn't believe it because he was sleeping. <laughs> but you know, you wouldn't know that, though, because the picture just shows that one that I took after. But that's smart. Okay. So <laughs> oh, that's pretty smart. Know. Then I, I'm, I, 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 I take lie. back what I said. Pictures just say a thousand words of oh, legit things. Like I am the best. Uh, <laughs> ain't no one beat me in Mario Kart. Damn, damn, um, dude. If I didn't know, know what confidence was, I would think it's this guy. For sure. <laughs> Dictionary confidence. So I was Sean like, Larson. it's like if you think like your dreams are reality. Sean lives in his dreams, which is his reality, which he loses but still thinks he's a win- wins. Because so you are a winner on the inside, Sean, no matter if you lose. Dude, the best advice I could give to anyone is live in your own fantasy world. I like it. I think there's I a really lot of liberals out there who do that. I'd really be doing that, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be saying the darndest things. Thank you, sir. They're all crazy, guys. The Both sides are wild. <laughs> Dude. Speaking of the wild, did you guys watch it last night? I Dude, no. Tell me more. One ish. Dude, they're. One. What? We won 5 1. It was like 5 1. Oh, okay. Wait, I don't right. even know anything about hockey. <laughs> this is well, the craziest thing. You say stuff on camera, and now you have to make sure you actually tell the truth. I yeah, know I know. I'm pretty right sure that's what it was. But the crazy thing is, is I was four years old when the Twins won a World Series here. Wow. So I've never lived through a Minnesota sports team other than the Lynx winning a championship here. I don't care what sport it is, but I just want to go flip a car. You know, I just, <laughs> I know I want to not be flip a car enough. literally, Goals. but with making cash, Goals. yeah, flipping the car. Yeah. Oh, I thought we were going yeah. right. I, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, I was hoping for a right. Yeah. Let's be honest it's here. Just, someone yeah. start a ride. I'm <laughs> Yo, start a ride. Let's do it. I'll, I'll go downtown. We have yeah. a little fun. Yeah. It's yeah. okay. Oh, every now and then. Maybe the best day of life. Watch out! Watch out! We're coming, <laughs> dude. I don't know shit about hockey. I don't know win. shit, but if the, if, if Wild wins though. All I know is it's going to be that. I'm going downtown. He's hopping on the bandwagon. I'm saying, yeah. All day. Oh, yeah. Dude. All day. I've been a Minnesota fan my whole life. Absolutely. You know? All, all day. Yeah. Great Shit. great thing to be, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's you like the Cubs, Indiana, which is Minnesota. much better than the Twins and Blackhawks, which is which is better than uh, the Wild. One, Neither one here nor my, there, though. Yeah. One of my favorite things is when That's I'm traveling. Classic. I meet a lot of coworkers from different states, and they live, and I always just like, everyone knows what the Vikings would be doing, you know. We got the chant. We got the fucking crowd. Like, you don't want to stop us, man. We got a good roar. I've you know, never but, been to a Vikings game yet. That is really sad, especially in the new stadium. Yeah. It's like chills. So amazing. Yeah. I've only been really here, like, what, six years? Going on seven years. So, like, yeah. I, I mean, that's plenty of time to go to a game. I just Dude, never I just have, went to yeah. my first one last year, so. Okay, so I don't feel well, so bad. Well, at the new stadium. Nice. What it goes X, you know? Oh, a lot of things, Ken. <laughs> There's only one person. I, I just know a lot of them hate on me. Set. Yo, I'm just <laughs> gonna. I'm hey, so let me turn this me. conversation real quick to something a little stupid. What? When's the last time you guys read an audio or listened to an audio book or read a book? Man, since long, long time. Six I've, I've years, had probably. some people have done that. 
Excuse me? You, so you've known people I who've know done people that? I know people that have recently done that, but I have no That's impressive that. that you know people who've listened to a book. Dude, there's this website. It's funny. I've had people say that they read books and they listen to audiobooks. No, see, like, <laughs> <you still laughs> I, I say, I say listen. I say listen. Do. I say He's listen. Like, I read a book. He don't even know how to read. I don't. So it's like, I but he truly don't. he did. It's the same format. Like, instead yeah. of listening to your ears, you can come through your mind and read it. Yeah, yeah, but you, I read it with his so ears. So I have a little, I have a little qualm with that, though. Because when you're listening to a book, you can kind of, you can kind of get out of the world a little bit. You can start distracting yourself. You're like, if you're cleaning True. or doing something, then you get in your own head. But if you're actually reading, you're 100 percent involved, True. and that you're you're great. engaged, absolutely right. And yeah. you're you're there, you're putting the whole fantasy in your head, yeah. everything. You're doing the characters' sounds, mm -hmm. you're doing the voices. You put your own voices to these people somehow that is, for some one weird reason. I like, I, like had, that, I, I like that thought. I like that yeah, thought. Yeah, but like, so sometimes nice. when I'm reading, <laughs> I edit that out. I still <laughs> have to go back and reread it because I'm like dyslexic. What was I just thinking? About? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my writing. I read fine. <laughs> When I read backwards, it would make sense. But. Yeah, got him. <laughs> and it's like Sean's headphones are on. It still doesn't face him at didn't all. Didn't face him. No, good job. <laughs> Kept in character. However, yeah. though, uh, why I brought that up, I recently read a, or listened to a book. Excuse me. I wish I could say I read, but it does sound better if you say read. <laughs> You're so sophisticated. I know, and I know. I mean, I haven't heard anybody that turns up and says, "Hey, man, I uh, listened to three audio books today. It was very, That's, very wonderful." No one says that. I know, no. but it's called. I the, read. It's called the Glass Castle, friends, dude. It's an amazing story of this memoir of this this woman who went through like some of the hardest shit you could ever go through as a young kid could ever go through. And she became like number like you know, number one bestseller in New York. And it's an amazing story of just triumph from from literally coming from nothing. Like her dad is a smart guy who who was in the Air Force. Doesn't she come from her mother though? Not nothing. It wasn't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like, uh -huh. it. but like, dude, she, her dad was smart as hell. Her mom actually was a teacher as well. But they just wanted to live like a nomadic cool. lifestyle. Like that was it. Yeah. And like, they went from county to county, city to city. Like, if rent was getting too high, they're like, "Yo, we Time gotta to do go. this. They gotta do the skedaddles." <laughs> what they go. called it. Yeah, that sucks, they man. Called, That's a they, hustle. And they just went hustle. to another city, did it again, rack up some more debt, dip out again, rack up debt, skedaddle. But it's, who dude, doesn't love a good hustle? So story. impressive. Such a passionate and hustle story, dude. So, and I think it's a great yeah. point, that's, and that's a great story. I think any person in life, when they have some hard passion and shut, like my life, <laughs> hustle, dude. grind, Sean. You know, you you literally were homeless for four years, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. and like you're here now, and you fucking made it, bro. You made it. How does it feel, dude? How many dicks did you suck on the street? <laughs> well, I got, I got, and we don't care, by the way. We, I got we do know. We, we do want dollars and five cents. So, <laughs> so was that a nickel a piece? Quarter? No, no. He charged I mean, me eight cents. Well, there's like inflation and stuff, so it's really hard to. That's figure true. It out. Okay, okay. But, inflation. Mm. <laughs> Bet you inflated those dicks. <laughs> oh, okay, dude. I can't help the way I look just because I'm cute. Inflate those dicks. Um, <laughs> It's like, you know, yeah. it's just not. I don't know. Not I don't to, know, Sean. That's what we're asking you. You're a resident of home. <laughs> Let's person. <laughs> <laughs> Sean was saying something about his bottle being wet earlier. I don't know if it was diarrhea or he's getting excited. So I don't. It's hard, dude, it's hard I, not I, to get excited when I'm you're sitting next to you and mine. So. Dude, I looked at him when I said that, and he had a like confusion of like, I might, it might be both. <laughs> well, no, because it made me think about the wetness. So oh. I was like kind of sidetracked. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a lot going on. Fair, fair, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. All right. So what I would like to do for this next segment is everyone do their best Batman voice. Oh no, not first. Where is she? Where is she? Oh wait, Batman's back. All right. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> All right. What have you done with her? What have you done with her? I sound too like raggedy, you know. Yeah, you are already. Where right? is she? I don't think it's Where is she? <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> He's a scorpion. Guy, guy goes to more combat, yeah. Now do your best Joker. Joker. <laughs> well, that's, Joker. Well, that's where you can't do things just right. I see. Oh, I almost went with I went with a Heath Ledger at first, and then I switched <laughs> to Jack Nicholson and, and during my switch. <laughs> oh, I don't know ooh. if you heard that. Greg, I'm, well, it's any Joker. I was insane. That's what I'm saying. Like, I started with Heath, and then I went to Joe, and then I went to Scott. I'm My a joker. Was a drinker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. See, don't you don't know. even want to know. Those aren't. <laughs> That's are not those? the joker. What are those? And he ain't playing a character. Well, uh, what's that guy's <laughs> name that is, does the penguin? I went to the penguin. 
Who is that? Danny, Danny DeVito? DeVito? Yes. Oh, Dude, the, the I went from Joker to Danny DeVito. Actor of all time. Danny DeVito's a legend. Always he wasn't, sunny, was he an actor before him. he was an actor? Do you guys know the real Yes, story? way back in 1970. It's like Taxi. With Robert De Niro. <laughs> I need to know more because I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I don't either. I've never seen it, but it's like Robert De Niro. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude. Wow. I was, wow. I was in a woman. Canceled. Canceled. I was Canceled. in a woman. Canceled. <laughs> I was in a woman, so. <sighs> this is like when you're on Sea Power like, Family Feud and you just got the third X. I was saying, like, wow. Robin Williams. Like, I've seen Mrs. Doubtfire. Doubtfire. You were Ooh. inside a woman, like her. Robin like him. Williams. Help is on the way, dude. No. Great I was movie. more like Great a Jim movie. Carrey well, and a uh, yeah. Rhino. Terrible. Not really a Miss Doubtfire in a woman's body. I was more like inside a Rhino. So are you like making Jim that? Are you switch, so Are you like? Are you comparing that to being inside of a woman? Like you were doing that to her? Because that sounds like you killed her. No, I was inseminating <laughs> the rhino. It was so bad. Jim Carrey. Sometimes he gets, and gets Ace sucked Ventura in. Ventura is what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When he's inside the rhino. Number two. That's based on Ace Ventura. Number two. Pet. Isn't that's it? Pet, based pet Detective. Yeah. Wait, what's the first one called? Uh, there's Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura. Pet, pet Detective. Well, what? That's what I'm saying. Ace Isn't Ventura. The second one? Oh, when nature calls. When nature calls. My bad. Great one. Jim Carrey. Those are so bad. Of those Jim are Carrey. actually, those are really Don't, bad movies. Dude, that's disrespectful. Canceled. Yeah, but they're all bad. Now I've heard it all. How are they bad? They're great. They're funny, but they're you. They're we funny. all know they're bad. If you watch them today versus like, uh, okay, you can watch well, his way of acting. I'm a grown so man. I'm not gonna top. watch that. That's it was, right. That's why good, it was. That was his thing. But though. it's that like his, his he, That was yeah. who he was. Yes. You know, like he did it on purpose, hundred percent. And I'm a grown man. Why would I watch Chase Ventura? But it's one of the greatest movies Cause ever you, made. Yeah, you're right. You're a grown man because you know it's a bad movie, which is why you won't no, watch I it don't. again. Thank it's you. Just cool. I, it goes from scene to scene of some cool, like crazy cool shit. You know, like oh, no, shit. like look, look at you can be ten years old and you're gonna watch Scarface at ten and you're like holy shit. Today at thirty fucking four, you're gonna watch Scarface and you're yes. like fuck yes, and holy shit. One at forty four. But you're not watching Ace Ventura at ten years old, going holy shit. And compared to today, you're like. Holy shit, bro. What the fuck is wrong with me back then? That's what happened. Scarface lives on. This movie is forgotten. I'm sorry. That's Sad. my hot take. Look that's my hot take. Friend. Oh you're, my not, God. you're not doing you're it. Not. You're just not. If you watch Scarface, that's my prime example right now. You can watch Godfather. You can throw in some awesome badass movie that we all know. Casino. Oh. But oh. you're watching oh. some silly comedy that you think is funny as a kid. Sometimes I just don't live up. Well, unfortunately, I got one that does. Uh, just, Wayne's I don't think World. You can talk about it like that. Wayne's World like, is a oh, funny movie no, as a kid. Some live up, but then as an adult, some live it's up. Even funnier because you get so much in that movie that mm-hmm. you did not understand. A hundred percent. Wayne's World is one of the best comedic movies out there. I haven't date. seen it in such a long Bro. time. Bro. And it's we did it. World. We're, oh, that's we're what the I'm saying. real Fuck life yeah. Wayne's World now. I'm glad you said that because I actually thought the same thing. Because we have like we have the set, we're gonna have like neon lights. Dude, we are fucking Wayne's World. I'm Party like, time! Let's go! Yeah, yeah. So that and that's what made me. <laughs> there was uh did uh what's his name? Uh Michael Mike Myers. Myers is he? Uh, he's, Mike a, Myers. he's the director, not, right? Not, not the killer, Mike. It's Mike. No, Myers. but Mike Myers. Yeah. Mike. Mike. What? The Michael way? Myers is a serial killer. Yeah, Mike Myers. <laughs> I mean, it's short for Michael, you fucking cock. Dude, uh, okay, well, his stage name and acting name is Mike Myers. Okay. Bruh. Well, he's like the He didn't want to be Wayne's associated World, with yeah. the serial killer. So, yeah, like, now I'm just, just happy for him, man. Yeah. The Austin Powers movies are just Fantastic. one of a, one of a fucking kind. They're the classic. It came they're out in the, a time of, like, nobody beautiful. had that idea, thought, mm. and it was just well put out. 100%. And then, yeah, and then with the whole character changing, just the same as Eddie Murphy and his uh, <sighs> naughty professors. Like, Whoa, oh, oh, yes. it's oh, like, dude. That's, that's, yes. that's Eddie. You're going to pick Eddie Murphy, n- nutty professor. That's your go-tos. Not like, you know, Beverly Hills cop. Well, no, oh, I just, I think, I think about, like, like, people, they, all the they, they play all the characters. They like did it so good. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, let's, like, like, well, let's pick a good Eddie Murphy movie, you know, like coming to America. Yeah, well, that's a good dude, movie. So <laughs> many good movies, but dude. No, like, like, not even, I can't believe I met someone else who I don't. I, I never knew I would meet another person on this planet, other than my one friend growing up and his family. So a couple people who liked Nutty Professor. You never liked it what? at all. What? It's terrible. How? What? I hated every bit of it. Bro, he gave a mouse CPR, and that's what I, I learned a lot. I've saved dude. so many animals' lives on the side of the road. <laughs> so dude, bad. he was trying to save obesity. You fuck. A it was so dude, bad. He almost saved obesities. Mankind, and then yeah. they saw what it is. You gotta accept yourself so I see, for who you are. I think I see what happened. And love here. yourself. I see what happened here. And then you got to be every play every character, and it was good. Did you guys ever see Eddie Murphy oh, Raw before oh, yeah. you saw Nettie, before oh, yeah. you saw Nettie, Nettie I downloaded Professor? it illegally on Napster. Before you saw Nettie Professor, uh, I can't even CD. recall. They both. Yeah, I don't know. Of course, they I both. forget what came out first. Oh, and probably about the same time actually. 
No, probably, I just think they both probably did a, good job. a little bit before. See, I'm, so, diff- gla- I'm difference- so glad this is recorded. You're telling me fucking Nutty Professor came out around the same time no, as Eddie Murphy No, for when I, when I heard No, Ra, we're talking about Austin Powers. I was still only like 12, 13. So Ra came out probably like, what, 88? What, 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 so, oh, okay. So, yeah. So There's a, a standard I would have been like 14 when I downloaded that from So I'm assuming you never saw it, which is fine if you've never seen it. It's just one of the best like comedic stand-ups you've ever seen. Yeah, it's... It's Eddie Murphy being fucking Eddie... Murphy. The real deal, like yeah. not like I'm saying, like Nutty Professor, yeah. like I'll give it to you, it's not bad, but it's not the real Eddie Murphy. Yeah, just uh, well, it, talking it about hair Austin down Powers because we got there, we we, we yeah. went down, yeah, we yeah. went down those lines, dog. Where you at? Keep up, bitch. Oh, I'm here, baby. but I do agree with Josh. <laughs> but you're putting shit in my mouth uh, that ain't my shit, bitch. A- <laughs> Eddie Murphy, trying to say suck something. that, suck that dick. Uh, <laughs> oh, bro, bro. Uh, dude, our country is seventy percent obese, and Eddie Murphy in that movie gave us the keys for success in America. And then apparently, people which was like do you not have candy our bars disrespected in your nutty professor. <laughs> Wait, I couldn't hear. I couldn't That's hear crazy. One or the other. Sorry. That's crazy. Yeah. The disrespect. He gave us keys to not be obese. Yeah. Nutty professor. And you see that what movie he did was life changing. <clears throat> Is that away. movie pro fat or con fat? Like what? I don't understand the problem. Well, I never watched it. I only seen bits of it because it was so dumb to me. So you can't really have an opinion if you never had you the experience. You can. No, that, that's not. I've never. I've no, an opinion. I've never gotten shot, but I know I don't want to get shot. He's living his own truth. He never well, watched that's something you don't want to do, but you don't like. <laughs> I guess my opinion. I don't want to get shot because I've seen other people get shot. Causing physical harm may be a different scenario than experiencing like something. Oh, so you're feeling. saying physical harm is more important than mental fit? Like that's crazy. Wow, hot take. Okay, <laughs> it's you, sound- you heard it here, folks. You heard it here. He doesn't care about your mental All health. Right, I'm out of here. He well, time to go hit the dust. Doesn't trail. care about your mental health. I know that movie's not pretty good. No, it is. dude, did you guys see the clip? I sent, you, I sent you that one today of Tony Hinchcliffe smashing on Helen Keller, that the audience member. <laughs> what? The, the, he was smashing on the, the chick who he was like, I've, I've, taught fuck, I've, I've taught special needs kids for 14 years, and he's talking about Helen Keller, the joke. Oh, that is so funny. Dude, oh, I'll, I'll send it to you. Man. Hell, dude, oh. Tony Hinchcliffe is one of the, oh. like, the greatest com- 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 comedians today. Like, he's Genius. so fucking good. Genius. He's like, he's touching on some special needs chick, like on special, uh, special needs stuff. And a woman in the audience was like, and Tony's like, what the fuck did that mongoloid say? <laughs> like, bro, dude, <laughs> I'm wow. telling you, wow. dude, yeah. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. It's so good because she just couldn't handle it. Like she literally got upset within like the first two minutes of the show. And he's like, just remember, I kicked you out. You didn't do this. I kicked you out. Wow, because like, dude, funny. like, it's just one of those hecklers. Like, dude, you come to a comedy show, expect to hear some shit you don't like sometimes. It yeah. happens. Yeah, no, it's comedy. Fucking sit it's, down. It's a good shut form up. of freeness. You know, Take let it. the freedom happen. That's it. You know, if you don't have to, if you are there and you bought a ticket, you're there to pay for the experience. You're not here it's to like, talk shit. There, th- you're there to fucking sit down and listen. Dude, let yeah. them do their job. That's like you. That's say, their job. Dude, it's literally like you going to a fucking art show and saying. I need this painting different colors. I could do better like, than what this the fuck? shit. That's such a good one. That's, that's it. That's 100% a great fucking example. ridiculous. Let them do their that's fucking art. It's a fucking nope. job. Dude. Comedians are artists. artists, though. It's Comedians art. are artists, yes. It's free form art and it's it's collective thinking. Let them... Regardless of who it is, you can support who you want. Yeah. There's billions of people. Let's all figure out which way we like and let's enjoy it. Fuck, dude. Like, Dude, that's Yo, the best. You say, let them, cook. let them yeah. cook. Let them cook. Let them cook. Because I agree. Dude, I'm going to start going to art museums, and there is certain colors that I don't like looking at. Yep. So I think I need to start calling these people out. 100%. Just like we do with the comedians. Dude, I love that comparison. It's so true. I need to start doing this. Yes. I never thought about that I could You do don't that. think, but I yes, never thought right. I could have yes. the option. <laughs> I think. But yeah. No, no, it's ridiculous. Bro, yeah. there's a lot of artists we need to cancel. cancel. So I don't like those certain red tones sometimes. And, but no, you got to understand too, is like when you go to those art shows, they like sit there and they're like thinking, oh, how is this? This is like, why can't we sit there and do the same thing? Like, oh, this is what the person's thinking, which is great. Accept the form of art. Enjoy it. 100%. We need more art in this world. True. And, and we're Whatever form it is. F- form of thought. I'm so we need it. I'm so not offended. I love going to a show and get called out by the comedian. I don't know why they call me out because there's nothing noticeable about me. But mm. <laughs> <laughs> but that's so funny. I love being roasted by like a random person. Yo, what's up?